Hello, 8th grade. This is Mr. D. Bartolo, and this is Flip Classroom number 4. It's a short and sweet episode just on changing chords. So you remember chords that we know so far are based in thirds, and we call them triads. So they're built in thirds, and they have three notes to them. Tri is the prefix, meaning three. So what you do is you go up to the wrench. And what you have to click on is where it says edit chord. It's highlighted in blue. So if you remember, those chords are not the ones that you have to use. You can change them. And those are the ones that we wrote on paper. But now we're going to actually put those to the iPads. So what I would like you to focus on is just major and minor. That's in the second slider right in here. Okay, So only major or minor. The third one you can select whichever one that just adds extra notes to your chord. And then this actually is what note is in the base of a chord. So you can see now my last one, it went B minor 9 slash C, which is in the base. I would say also that's something that you could leave as none for right now. And then if you start to get a little fancy and you want to add it, that's fine. Just make sure that that note in the bass is in the chord. So if it's a C chord, we have C, E, G, you shouldn't be using an A in the bass. Okay? You actually have to use either C, E, G. You can also, in this function, actually change the chord to none. So you're going to see my last chord here disappears. There's nothing there anymore. So when I hit done, you have one less chord. And this is great in staying organized. Okay? So I kind of want you to just mess around with this in class next time and see what sounds good to you. In, in the beginning, let it just be trial and error. If you don't like it, take it out. If you like it, keep it. Okay? So um, just one last thing to review. You have to click on the chord okay, that you want to change, and it's highlighted in blue once again. So if I were to pick, let's say, D, and I'm going to keep it on major, when I hit done, now you have a D chord. Okay? So you can actually change the sound of your song. And this is really the only way that you can make your song sound different from other groups in the class. If you don't change the chords, all of your songs are going to end up sounding alike.